the annual iconic Pikes Peak Race Series has, for many years, been a chance for automakers to showcase their latest in vehicle technology. Demanding in ways that most racers aren't, this mammoth hill climb has undergone something of a transformation over the last five years or so, with more and more electric vehicles taking to the 12.42 mile, that's 19.99 kilometer circuit, to prove that electric cars have exactly what it takes to become king of the mountain. To date, we've seen plenty of individuals and automakers race electric single-seaters, with the current record for an electric vehicle being 8 minutes and 57.118 seconds, as set by Reese Millen in the Drive E0 PP100 in 2016. But this year, Volkswagen says it wants to smash that record with its IDR Pikes Peak, a special single-seat race car built specifically for the competition. And while Volkswagen has been making a lot of hot air lately, with seemingly little to show for it in the EV world, the IDR Pikes Peak does seem to be the real deal, with specifications that should give it a fighting chance. First up, there's a dual-motor all-wheel drivetrain, something Volkswagen says will allow it to develop 500 kilowatts of power, that's 670 horsepower, and 650 newton meters, that's 479 pound-feet of torque. I should note here that there are far more cars that produce far much more power at the wheels, but where Volkswagen says it will have the edge is the weight of the IDR Pikes Peak. At 1,100 kilograms, that's 2,425 pounds, the IDR Pikes Peak should reach 62 miles per hour, 100 kph, in just 2.25 seconds, making it a quarter of a second faster or thereabouts than Tesla's flagship Model S P100D in ludicrous mode. When you're traveling from one grueling corner to another on your way up to Pikes Peak, acceleration is far more important than top speed. Unlike the Model S, the Volkswagen ID R Pikes Peak doesn't need to have a massive onboard battery pack, something which is helping the car keep its weight at an absolute minimum. Consequentially, Volkswagen has designed the battery pack of the ID R Pike Peak to deliver maximum power throughout the race with just enough range to get it up the mountain. While Volkswagen hasn't talked about specifics for the battery pack, no surprise there, here, I've made some back of the envelope calculations, and I think that we're going to be looking at somewhere between 35 and 45 kilowatt hours of storage. Although I should reiterate again that that's based on what I know about EVs and going up mountains, not an official figure from Volkswagen. Because Pikes Peak is usually open to the public as a road they can drive on, there's very little time for teams to test on the actual Pikes Peak course before the actual event. So Volkswagen says most of its pre-event testing will take place on conventional race circuits. But the challenge here is that while Volkswagen will be able to refine the handling of the IDR Pikes Peak in that kind of situation, it won't be able to easily replicate the far higher power demands that the car will be subjected to on the hill climb course. Of course, being electric, Volkswagen or any other team racing an electric car won't have to worry about the loss of power as the air thins towards the top of the course something that driving an internal combustion engine vehicle on the course would suffer. But with air density much less at the top of the mountain than at the bottom, Volkswagen may have to worry about keeping the motor and the battery pack cool. Granted, the car will have to operate for less than nine or maybe even eight minutes in order to make it to the top. But the battery pack or the motors, if they get too hot, then it could mean bad things for the car, something Monster Tajima discovered with his all-electric race car back in 2012, which did catch fire. Unlike some of the electric race cars we've seen take to the mountain in previous years too, Volkswagen's entry into the electric segment of Pikes Peak has a fully enclosed cabin rather than an open cockpit design. While this may make a significant difference to the overall weight of the vehicle, it should make the Volkswagen IDR Pikes Peak a little bit more aerodynamic, and if you add in the massive spoilers and splitters this car has to keep it firmly planted on the road, it seems to have everything it needs to make a good attempt Pikes Peak EV record, especially with Romain Dumas, someone who set the overall fastest time during both the 2016 and 2017 events, albeit in gasoline-powered vehicles. His switch to electric, though, speaks a lot to how far electric vehicles have come in recent years and how eager professional racers are to step behind the wheel of an electric-powered car if it means they get to set new records. Of course, Volkswagen hasn't shown enough of the IDR Pikes Peak for anyone to get a true idea of what its chances are on June 24th when the hill climb takes place. 
There's no doubting that a win at Pikes Peak will gain Volkswagen some much needed kudos from the motorsport world and maybe even the electric vehicle world. But as I've said on this channel plenty of times before, the thing Volkswagen really needs to do right now is to get bums in seats of real production cars if it wants people to take it seriously. And that also means making those cards affordable, practical, and appealing to as many customers as possible. Because that's where Volkswagen's real talents lie, making solid everyday cars that everyone wants to drive. Pre-Dieselgate, that was certainly the case. Now, with a new focus on electric, it needs to do that all over again, or be laughed out of the market. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to, do check out our new channel, Transport Evolved Take Two, where you'll see a little more behind the scenes stuff and a few more informal features from me and the rest of the team. And of course, if you'd like to donate to keep this channel running, you know exactly what to do by following the links below. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep evolving.